How's it going, boys? Friends, I'm Power so Welcome back to another video. And today, yes, you see, right here in Subnautica, there's multiplayer. Now, how is there multiplayer, you may ask? With all these servers that you can play on, well, it's actually really simple. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Now, first thing you want to do is come over to Google and search up Subnautica Multiplayer Mod. Now, this is the first video that's going to come up Subnautica Multiplayer Mod Nitrox Teaser. You want to click on that. Now with this, we're going to go to the description and click nexusmod.com. Now when you get here, you should click, you should see a download thing on the right side of the screen. Click manual, sign up. Now it says register and like you have to pay and stuff, but just go to the free, scroll down, free, register now. And then you might have to think you have to pay it now. Just come down, create account, and then create your account. Let's make a uh, Bobby. Sure, I'm gonna make an account real quick. Once you made your account, go create create account. Cool, Bobby boy. Now you're gonna go to your email, and in your email you will see a registration code. See, this is the email I'm using. So I go to Gmail. The Nexus 4. Right here. You go down to activate your account. You click this link. And you click login here. Username Bobby Boy 101111. That's my name. And then I'll enter my password. Sign in. Do the capture. Okay, good. I didn't fail. And then what I did, I went back to the video and clicked on the link again and now when you click manual there should be this you click on this and it opened on this monitor I will bring it over it should bring you up with this I'm gonna full screen this with this you click on it and it gives you this click next and I already have it so I'm gonna remove it And then I'm going to re-have it. I'm actually going to quit Subnautica so that it doesn't mess anything up. So now I'm going to open it again. I accept. Next. Now, here's where it gets different. Once you get to this one, do not click next. You want to wipe it all out. Whatever drive you're setting it to. And then this is where it's going to get a little bit of coding in. You want to type in program files parentheses times 86 parentheses slash and then it's I believe I can I can get it up I'm just gonna open it up it would be easier for you to just go to your steam files because if you know where your steam apps are you're basically that's that's all you're doing so not, here we go I have everything open so it's program files 86 then steam slash steam apps slash common slash subnautica and then you click next install and as long as no error sign fi uh, p pops up and it says completed and finish boom it's installed so let's go back over to the monitor one and you know maybe extend this a little bit I'm going to open subnautica And when this opens, multiplayer, right there. And to add a server, it's pretty simple. All I have to do is go here, click on CMP, and you have to click, once, once you're here, put IP config, and it shows you your IP down here. Now, of course, I'm not going to show you my IP, but it's down there. So, yeah, that's once you, we, where it says IPv4 address, you're going to take that, add server, and then you're going to add it there. So that's what you're going to do. And that's just how you play Subnautica Multiplayer. It actually works. I've tried it before. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.